Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you feel great. Um, today we're gonna start again with some sound design course for a real life composing shop for the album Trailer Beast 4 for Warner Chapel Production Music. It's an ongoing series I do every year for Warner Chapel Production Music. And yeah, I got no clue yet what I'm gonna do, but I'll show you the process, how I try to inspire myself with new samples and get a track done maybe in the next few hours hopefully okay so let's change to Cubase and see you can see up there already loaded in some um, hits up there and I want to go this track around 130 it should be enough for sound design most sound design isn't really over two minutes some even are around 30 seconds or something so yeah hey michael peterworth how you doing thanks for tuning in okay uh, what i always need are downers risers all the kind of stuff so uh i labeled that already and put in some of my favorite downers so i got something like uh, like a template ready for doing my sound design stuff in this okay so i go into my folder called favorite folder downers and load in my let me check which one yeah it's this one it's a downer from arcade from output let's play it back pretty heavy and we're gonna put in a riser to have a kind of template for sound design right now um own fx risers a folder with my favorite risers let me check some let's go again with the hybrid one this is one from i think from hybrid tools number two pretty pretty old but extremely effective for me it's working almost in every track i got yeah so yeah heavy thing um let's build a template what i also do all the time oh no let me get the window here it is okay what i also do is um, i put an exciter on my master bus where is it it's um fx vintage exciter stereo and i use the setup beefy mix because uh, I think we're gonna do something today with drums and yeah, it's making the drums beefy like hell. 
We got already damage two in there. So let's keep that and let's get in again. Um, ADR, hybrid tools. No, is it here? Oh, here is number three. Instruments, epic boom cut. <clears throat> and let's label that. Gotcha. And label again the audio file. Boom kit. Okay. Let's also get in uh, Medusa drums as a drum kit. It's from musical sampling plugins, I think so. Yeah. Boutique drums Medusa. Instruments, ensemble, Medusa main. Check that. Okay. So basically what we are doing here is we get some stuff already in, into the template. Okay. Medusa drum kit. Everything is already rooted in my own template. You see, I got folders. I really would like to show you how to stem trailer stems in the new Cubase 11. But unfortunately, I'm not able to get into the ELI sensor since yesterday evening. So we have to wait till I can register um, Cubase 11. Yeah, so what else? Okay, I think we, today we're gonna work with sample tracks as well. Like let's say alarms or something. Let me check where I got sample track stuff. FX. Um, you see, I got a folder tonal FX for all the brams and alarm stuff. Mm. Sample tracks, here we go. I got almost everything from sample tracks here. So what could we use? I never used anti-system before. Samples. I think we don't have brams here. Glitch data, no. Then let's check something else. Let's check sample tracks brams. Or maybe, oh, brams volume two. What? <laughs> Almost forgot that I got it on my PC. Okay. Uh, let me just pre-listen for a few seconds and then get something in into the um, into the project. You see, it's already labeled to D. Perfect. That's a heavy bram. Sample tracks, bram heavy. And let's get a reverb on it. Perfect. Just let me plug some. You see what I want to plug here? Um. Locking number one and plug the second one. Okay, so we don't get any unnecessary messages here in the chat. Okay, let's check that again. Like it. Yeah, we just gonna go on like this. You see, I just do something like a master template and, and if I don't need the prams later, I'm gonna mute them or put something else in. But uh, for the moment, I just copy it in to the whole track. So I got everything in place if I need something already here. Okay, so we got prams, we got hits, risers and downers. Then I would like to have maybe another pram or ping and we need to look for something um, in tune D. 
also going to use uh, sample tracks for this. Sample tracks. Boom, 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 boom. What could we use here? Drops and bams, bleed. Raptors, shocking signal, I think, is something like this. Ping. Here we go. I like this one. Let's check that. Okay, nice start. So I'm gonna copy those pinks all over to place number one, to beat number one. I hope that the microphone quality is good enough. We had an issue in the last stream that we had uh, um, problems with the microphone. So it's all good to, to hear. I hope so. Okay, let's check that. already pretty effective intro what I hear right now what should come here in is a kind of clock so uh, we're gonna use sample track sample tracks again they got a kind of oh it's called clockworks okay boom 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 we are working in 120 okay let's check that how oh, sounding okay Now the clocks are coming in. Okay, nice clock sound, but it's a little bit too harsh from the high uh, EQ frequencies. And it needs uh, reverb again. You see, I always use for my trailer stuff, Valhalla Shimmer. Let's solo that. Gonna make the size of the room a little bit smaller. Okay, and what we definitely gonna do is we gonna make the pace of the clock faster. But I gonna leave the clock here in the background and put a faster clock in front of the mix here, clock. So let's call it clock slow. Desperate deed, alles gut. Perfect. I like that. And we call the another one clock fast. So the first clock is doing ping, bong, ping. So we're gonna work with the second clock uh, doing ping, bong, ping, bong. You know, going simply faster. Let's check that. We do some pretty fast sound design here. Nice, I like that. I simply like the quality of sample tracks. So, check that. Nice one. Again, a little bit harsh. I'm gonna put again my reverb on it and EQ the clock. So we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's play that back.
we could bring in here a downer to uh, mark a transition into the next part of the trailer. We got the intro, middle part, end part, and we're gonna do everything in one minute 30, so pretty, pretty fast. So the downer is basically like a hint, something new, a new part is coming, okay? Nice. And uh, beat 25. My feeling is saying again, we, uh, we we still need a faster clock. So we got no tick, 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 tick. And the next clock gonna be ticky, 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 you know, to simply generate more and more attention into trailer sound design. So basically, oh, let's save that before it's over. Warner, Trailer Beast 4, track number 7. You see, album is almost done, but not yet. So, clock faster, let's import something faster again, maybe you can find something. Yeah, it's working, let's check that. Is it the same? No. Let's just play back the clocks. Yeah, it's working. You can hear it here without the very first clock. Now we get it in. You see? So we got uh, three kind of clocks here going on. Again, we need four beats for everything. Boom, boom, boom. Why is that at the end of everything? So it just goes zack, 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 as we say in German. <laughs> and yeah. So let's check how it's sounding it. Okay. And then we're gonna paint around the project a little bit. The clock is going faster here, so we need the pinks also going faster. Double speed. Boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna do the same here. Nope. So we're gonna let it play double speed again back. Bum, 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 bum. And again, doing double speed in this last two few seconds here. Like this. And we're gonna do. We gonna do a kind of outro here, like dun 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 over, okay. And it's, you know, it's hard to explain, but um, I hear in my brain already how this track should be right now, okay. So I got an imagination, and I'm gonna show you now what I mean with this. So I'm gonna do a kind of 
Let me check that kind of uh, C part auto. Yeah, it's only one beat from here. And we gonna cut this out and simply copy like this. Boom, that's it. And I need to clue that together again. Oh no, this wasn't good. And yeah, and we're gonna take out the pram here. So we're gonna do it like this. And outro, just the pram. Okay. So we got a kind of bass arrangement here, okay? Mm, Despedit, uh, yes, the session is online later on YouTube. It's always online on YouTube later. It's also online on Twitch, but I think only for a week. But those sessions are always available on YouTube for all the time, okay? Thanks for watching, by the way. Okay, so let's listen again back to the start and see what we're gonna paint around the track right now, okay? I call this painting. Yeah, I can hear here a downer. And I can hear in this part a stutter wise I did a little, 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 little going up. You know, people are always smiling when I try to explain it with my own voice what I would like to do, but it's the easiest way. So for stutter effects, I use glitch. Take that out and gate is here. I think it will be uh, 60 notes. Let's check that. No. 32. Perfect. Yeah, and we need a hit then. Okay, let's check that again. Okay. And I'm gonna lay behind this a totally normal riser, but no stutter effect. Perfect. Let's build it more. Okay, to make it more interesting, I would like to have here kind of pulls going in the background on like boom, 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 boom. So let's simply stay today with sample tracks. Okay, let me check if I got something here. I cannot remind anymore all kind of plugins from sample track have so many mutilated drums. No. So let's check where we can find some pulses, samples. Cinematic is also a plugin called uh, made by uh, the owner of sample tracks. Let's check if we got a pulse thing here going on. If not, Cinedust, samples, loops. Yeah, let's check that. What is the sounding? No, that's too obvious. We need the sparse pulse in the background going on. I 
think we got it. Yeah, we got it here in Rituals. It's in Hobo-ish uh, FX stuff. Mm, pulsing soup. Yeah. This is a heartbeat pulse. Let's check that. working and we're gonna do a cutting I always call this a cut break here so I'm gonna put in kind of um, silent break here basically that's a cutting point for an editor for trailer editor okay <laughs> works so let's do Um, the beats, the heartbeats, double as fast as we have it right now. Like boom, 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 boom. Let's check that. working perfect okay let's call it heart beat pulse okay let's listen back again to the track track arrangement let's say it's not yet finished <coughs> Yeah, nice. Um, I always try to bring something new in the track. So let's check for something pulsy like in this area here. So here we got a hard pulse going on. Maybe we can bring in here in this part. Uh, let's cycle that. Another kind of pulse in the background. Okay, let's check again the loops and rituals. Check that, it's a kind of metallic clock in the background. Okay. This is working. Let's play back again from beat number nine. <laughs> And I would like to have the metallic clock in the last part here going double fast again. So we always need to generate a new tension part here. 
let's duplicate it take it out here and then we resample that so let me check uh where is it where is it metallic lock it's here okay read one eight tell notes like this okay let's check that take it back here a bit boom and like this let's copy that a few times walking you see easy going I mean I'm pretty sure you know not everything what is looking uh, easy going is so easy to do you know but uh, we try our best so let's check again from the last part so we can make sure the parts are very good connected to each other <laughs> Yeah, nice and I would like to have here an alarm sound something screaming in the background quick quick you know we still can generate more tension and we're gonna use for that sample tracks um, where is it alert bend alarm maybe no, I think normal alarm sounds like it it's an up bending alarm sound bending stuff is always good for trailers like wee wee <laughs> okay but it's bending much too long here Should be over here. Okay. And not so loud in the mix. Let's check that. And repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Maybe we're gonna fade it out a bit at the end. Yeah. And in the last part, I still wanna have more attention. Maybe gonna add some pinks or maybe some aggressive alarm sound, like quick, quick. This one could work. So unfortunately you cannot hear my preview uh, what I hear when I open a folder in the import um, context. But I try to fix that, let's check it. And we definitely need to make it fast as this, okay. Let's check. <laughs> Yeah, doing the last alarm. No, it was too much. This last one. Oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna double like this. 
and also gonna add here some hits to make the hits um, pace faster. Unfortunately, those hits are not from sample tracks. Those are from Keep Forest. But sample tracks has a lot of good hits in there. But uh, I got no time right now to search and destroy, you know. <laughs> working. Need another hit here. And the same here. Okay, so let's re-listen to the track again. Got an idea. Let's layer that with a downer. Nice. I mean that's almost perfect we are just working right now for 40 minutes on that but uh, in sound design you always need to imagine it needs to be simple but effective okay this doesn't need to mean it's so easy to do because uh, doing simple sound design can be sometimes much more challenging than doing extremely complicated stuff because simple stuff is not so easy to do okay because you need to gain attraction from the audience and for a trailer um, with easy stuff okay so it needs to change and evolve all the time so let's re listen again to the track and maybe check for some stuff we still could bring in we still got no drums in here maybe we're gonna check out damage i don't think so Let's make the reverb a little bit smaller here. Maybe for the ending part we bring in some drums. working okay so let's quantize this 
So we got a pretty easy damage line here going on. Almost like a clock. Boom. And let's re listen to that. in the context. Nice one. What we're gonna do here is doing this, um, the drums for damage drums here double as fast, like diddle diddle diddle, diddle. like 60 notes, like this. What I like always is getting at the end like something like this. Oh, sorry like a tripled kind of. Let's do that. Okay. We still need that was really bad playing for myself. <laughs> but let's get it in. Um, 32 notes, I think so. Okay. Mm, maybe sixty notes, no, thirty twos. Walking. Perfect. You know, like an end to and fill or something. Okay, let's re listen again. Got an idea. Let's make an accent here only with the drums. Okay, so we take out and this small part, everything else, and just let play back. No, this was wrong. Just let's play back. Only the drums, maybe some clocks, not sure. I uh, left one in. Mm, then we need a hit. Like this. And like that. Check again. Yeah. 
and we need a visor and this part and the downer again Okay, perfect. Let's re listen again from the beginning. Something was hanging. What do you mean? How does it sound? Could you imagine something like this in a trailer? Maybe imagine some kind of horror TV spot, horror trailer. Mm, maybe some kind of dark cinematic uh, sci-fi thing going on. For sure, it's nothing for a Marvel Avengers trailer or something. Because those trenches usually use some kind of um, hybrid orchestral arrangement. You know, press, drums, choirs, that kind of stuff. But it's definitely good stuff for TV spots for that kind of movies. Uh, you know, TV spots are using a lot of trailer sound design. And trailer sound design has uh, the big, big good thing that it's usable everywhere. So you could use that in a kind of uh, magical trailer. You could use that in a kind of, even maybe in the background, um, adventures trailer then. And um, that's uh, in its nature, it's so easy to use sound design and also the stamps. So, yeah, let's re listen again to that. Um, I mean, I have 99 of my placements with this kind of easy sound design stuff. Okay, so anyhow, it's working. Don't ask me why, but it's working. <laughs> Bring in here the clock again. Nice to have. Okay. 
So my feeling is saying this is working. It's simple, it's effective. It's not too complicated. Um, sound design, trailer sound design stuff should be easy to listen to, easy to use, um, not so over complicated, okay? What I do right now is uh, I'm gonna do the fades of the waveforms because we worked here with waveforms. We need to avoid clicks because of the Cebu point here. See, that's a little bit too much. So I simply gonna fade it smoothly in so we don't get clicks at the end. I would like to have an option in Cubase to simply do that with a key feature, you know, by um, putting set or D or something and doing a small fade on the wave files. It would save a lot of time for myself. Okay, what I do right now, I group that. So this stuff is usual of X. Then I group this into clocks. Uh, where's the T? Yeah, we're also gonna put in the heartbeat into clocks because it's the same vein. Then we got here alarm number two. Gonna group that into alarm. Basically, I'm doing right now the work for my stems. So I simple solo the folders and export them. And then I have the the stems. Uh, we can bring in ping also into alarms. Then we got bram, pings, we got clocks, usual fx, we got damage. Simply let's call it epic drums. And we got hits. That's it. Okay. I would say let's re listen again to that thing. And then um, we are done with easy trailer sound sign in one hour. Yeah, nice guys. I hope um, you had some fun today watching how I do simple, easy trailer sound design. And I would keep you posted if we can sync that track into a trailer or to me spot so you can see later the usage, what I did in, a, in the door and what is later in the trailer and how was the edit, okay? So uh, once this album is out in 2021, I'm gonna repost, if we get a placement with that, the trailer or the TV spot into the comments later so you can see what's going on and how was it used. Did the trailer cutter simply use the stamps or have he or she used the full track or has he just used maybe a part of it, that kind of stuff. You see, it wasn't hard to do. It's just a matter of experience and uh, feeling what could work in trailers. Um, because I do that all the time, 24 seven, I directly know what is working and what could maybe get into trailer or TV spot. But just because I'm watching everyday trailers and TV spots on YouTube and see what is going on right now on the market. And uh, I can clearly see and I have a, still a lot of placements with this kind of trailer sound design. So guys, hope you had fun. Thank you so much for tuning in.